Hey bro, my um, my controller broke. Can uh, can you fix it? I don't know. Um, let me take a look at it. Okay, here you go, bro. All right, cool. Thanks. Um, let's see here. Come back in an hour and I can have it fixed. Okay, so come back in an hour and you'll have it fixed. All right, cool, good deal. Well, um, I'll see you in an hour. Uh, hey bro, I'm back. I is it fixed? I'm almost done with it now. It's almost done, brother. I almost got it fixed. Just give me one more second. There you go, it's fixed. Bro, you didn't even fix it. Man, you whack, bro. shirt on. You got your camo shirt on? Yeah. Yeah, let's see. Oh. Knock, knock. What do you think? Go. That's yep. your body armor. Feel it. Yeah. So shoot you in the head. <laughs> then I, I take the body armor. Or I shoot you in the nuts. So what happens? That's when he gets the other body armor in. Feel the back of it, Mom. Feel the back. Feel the back. Hit it. Hit it with your hand. No, I'm not going to. No, hit, hit it. Hit it with your hand. Oh my God, it's like. It's steel. It. Yeah, it's just. What's that? guys my new camera check it out looks good right yeah it's my new camera we're going to use that for a different day we we'll use that for a different day anyway i want to show you all this real quick here's the front end of it we're going to just pull this out and then everything that you see red is getting replaced so and then all this plastic stuff all these plastic pieces in here and stuff that's all being replaced right now so let's get into that man look at all of that pretty blue in there oh it's gorgeous man this thing's going to be so pretty it may be a shelf queen and the other project which by the way i forgot to mention i got more upgraded parts for the grasshopper I almost have every single upgraded part that you can possibly get for the grasshopper. I do have a few more on the way and then um, I'm going to buy uh, some metal gearing and some other things for it but this grasshopper once we get this thing all locked and loaded bro we can beat the biscuits out of this thing. Beat the biscuits out of it and we'll have a lot of fun doing it too. Who else uh, workshop or table? looks like this anybody else or is it just me where you end up with crap just everywhere you real quick how do you properly align your front end okay it's real easy get a marker it's all you need or something straight what you do is you take one of them so this one and you make sure that it is dead center and what you're looking for is you want this to be lined up with that to be lined up with that so you can take your pen and lay it right over 
and see that that is perfectly aligned, okay? This one side needs to be perfect. Then what you do is you go to the other side, all right? And then you look at the other side. Well, let's look at our line. Let's take our pen and we'll lay it across the line. See that? The spindle's off. That right there tells me that it is not straight. So then you would want to adjust this, turn it in to short. And then what you would get is you would then readjust it and then look at it again. And then now you can see that it is straight. All right. That's how you properly align. So once you get that one properly aligned, then you jump back over here and you look at this one and you go, okay so yep that one's good all right and that one's good so that's just how to basically eyeball it to make sure it's aligned so i am trying to install it but this brace is pressing way too hard up against this so i'm using a file and I'm trying not to make it so dark, but you can see the lip right there. You, know, you can see the lip right there. See all that? That's where it's rubbing. So I'm just taking a file and I'm just very gently trying to rub me out a spot there. So that way that bracket will fit. So that's what my current challenge is. Everything else though looks pretty, pretty, pretty boss. Good God, what a booger bear that was to put back in there. But we got it in there. It is all aluminum. I mean, the only more that I could do is get aluminum shock towers. Um, different ones. That's really about all I can do. I'm not going to upgrade the arms to aluminum. That's kind of stupid. I've gotten everything that has to deal with structure other than the shock towers upgraded anything that has to deal with the durability of the truck has been upgraded i could probably even go as far as getting the different style of uh, chassis i noticed that there's a few different chassis out there available from different manufacturers that you could actually use um i'm an idiot i put those two bolts in backwards and I can't get it out like I've had to like beat it out and I still couldn't get the bolt out so I said screw it it's in there it's tight that's all that matters if it vibrates out good then I can put it in there correct but for right now it's doing its job it looks good man especially with the new aluminum on it and stuff and all of its aluminum now sweet you guys like it Steering's all aluminum. This whole front assembly is aluminum now. Completely upgraded. There ain't no plastic on it nowhere. Sweet. Even the uh, gearbox and stuff inside's been upgraded. So now, the only thing we got left is the center. We got to deal with the center. And I just realized that I'm going to have to take the center brace off to get to the center. But. We haven't gotten the new part in yet, so we're not going to do that today. We'll probably save that for another video. I think I got enough footage as it is. Cool. Show me, um, God, let me see. I'd love to see what your, what y'all's vehicles look like. That'd be cool. Anyway, check us out on Instagram and Facebook. I appreciate you guys watching. Man, this thing looks great. I just... I can't imagine, I just can't, oh, looks so good, yes, sweet, alright, thank you for watching guys, I appreciate y'all, I'll see you guys in the next video, and I'm sure it will have to do with this RC car.